everybody. Welcome back to Have It or Leave It. I'm Brittany. This week's challenge was inspired by my mom. Hi, mom. She insists that when I turn 40, I'm going to have to get reading glasses. Well, it's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, I probably look pretty good in them, right? But it is something that I would like to hold off as long as possible. The condition my mom's referring to is called presbyopia, or the age-related hardening of the lens of the eye that typically culminates at, guess what, age 40, and requires the need for reading glasses or bifocals. So can you prevent it? I began to scour the web, looking for ways to stave off the dreaded reading glasses. What I found were many suggestions to do eye exercises, most based on the Bates method doing things such as focusing near and far, doing eye circles, or points of the clock, um, palming, massage, that kind of thing. The only problem is, although there was a lot of anecdotal evidence, I couldn't find any scientific backing. And most optometrists flat out were saying, the exercises don't work. Plus, they take 30 minutes a day. So I was feeling kind of bummed, but I didn't give up and I kept looking and I did find a method that kind of stood out from the rest. Not only does it not take 30 minutes a day, it takes about six to 15 and you build up to that over time, but it also did have a scientific study. And at the end of it, although there were no physiological changes to any of the subjects, each and every one of them said that they could see better. So for me, it sounds like it's worth trying. The method I'm referring to was developed by Ray Gottlieb, an optometrist, and he teaches us how to cross our eyes using a presbyopia reduction chart. And what it's meant to do is help with convergence accommodation, or the ability to continue to see a single image the closer you bring an object to your nose. Um, there's a certain point here, and I'm getting to it, where I see two fingers instead of one. So his exercises are meant to help us be able to bring those objects even closer to our face and still be able to focus on them as a single image. And seeing as presbyopia is age-related farsightedness, that's exactly what we want to improve. The chart looks like this, and I'll include a link in the description to this chart and the instructions to use it. To summarize our week five habit or leave it challenge, we're going to learn to cross our eyes. Why are we going to do that? To improve our conversion accommodation, to prevent and maybe even treat presbyopia. If you're in, type I'm in in the comments. And before Friday, print out the chart and go through the instructions. And also take a before picture so it would be something like this. Bring your finger as close as you can before you start to see double. Take the picture. And then at the end of the week, we'll take another one and compare to see if we can see any closer without that double vision. I'm really hoping this works. I'm hoping to prove you wrong, Mom. Thanks for joining me. Bye.